today we are learning about Luke 5, 1 through 10. It's a fisherman story. When the fishermen by the sea, they left down the nets and they waited and waited and they got nothing. And Jesus said to let down the net now, they let down and they got a lot of fish. It's amazing. Get ready to serve us, peace, girls.
Kai, your friendly neighborhood astronaut. My friends and I decorated the clubhouse to look like outer space. Isn't it amazing? We're playing out of this world. It's so cool. My mom got me this cool astronaut costume. It looks just like the ones astronauts wear when they go up into outer space. Raise your hand if you think being an astronaut would be a cool job. Me too. I'd love to blast off in a rocket ship and see all the stars and visit the moon and maybe even see other planets. That would be so cool. Plus with my special radio, I could talk to people down on Earth. I would love being an astronaut. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Visiting outer space, are you? Hi, Ollie. I am. Astronauts get to do the best things. Astronauts are fantastic. It's true. But I know someone even more amazing. Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. to the Cupcake Food Truck. I'm Aisha. So good to see you today. Check out these amazing cupcakes. Ta-da! <laughs> They're my golden goldfish cupcakes. Because I have the most amazing story about the most amazing out of this world person. Can you guess who it is? Jesus! <laughs> That's right, it's Jesus. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with these fishermen. They have been fishing all night and now they are cleaning their nets. I wonder how many fish they caught. Let's look in their boats. Do you see any fish? No. These guys had tried all night to catch fish, but came back without any fish. So sad. Just then, Jesus came to the shore and a crowd of people followed him. They wanted to hear Jesus's amazing teachings about how God loves them. But there were so many people and they kept getting closer and closer and closer. Jesus had no room to stand on the sand. So he asked Peter, the fisherman, if he could use his boat. Tell me, if Jesus asked you if he could come on your boat, would you say yes or no? Yes, me too. <laughs> so Jesus got in the boat and he taught the people about God. When he was finished teaching, he said to Peter, let's go fishing. Peter told Jesus that he had tried all night to catch fish and didn't catch a single one. But since Jesus asked, Peter agreed to try one more time. They let down their nets and waited. Tell me if you see any fish. <gasps> there's a fish. Wow. <gasps> there's another one. What's that? Even more fish. So many fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, there's so many fish. The nets are breaking. They even had to get another boat. Soon, they had two full boats of fish. Everyone was amazed. No one but the out of this world amazing Jesus could do that. Jesus is amazing and can do anything because Jesus is God's son. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus helped his friends catch lots of fish. Jesus is amazing. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? 
Wow, Jesus helped his friends catch enough fish to fill two whole boats. Jesus is so amazing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to fly my rocket back up into outer space and think of all the amazing things that Jesus did. Ready for liftoff. See ya! Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47. Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47.